Guys, the time has finally come. Today I am showing you how I make my iced coffee and my hot coffee. This has been a highly requested video. I always put my coffees on my Instagram stories. They're typically in almost every single video that I post on YouTube and I always get comments about them. So today I'm showing you guys my little trickaronies. Before I show you the details in each of them, I want to show you the exact equipment that I use. So I have a Start Nespresso machine and I also have a Nespresso frother. Everything that I show you today, you guys can use with pretty much any coffee machine. Like if you wanna use a Keurig, maybe you have just a regular coffee machine, you can definitely do that. But the way that I'm gonna show you how I do mine today is with the Nespresso machine and the Nespresso frother. I really recommend these things. I'm gonna put most most of what I use in my bio, if you do shop through my bio, I do get a percentage of it. So it helps me, but it also helps you get the product and it's no more cost to you. So if you do decide to shop, please do it through my bio, it helps me out. Another thing that I wanna show you guys, if you do not want to invest in the Nespresso frother, you can use this hand frother. I don't know exactly what it's called, but that will also be in my bio. You can get it on Amazon for less than $10. It's very cheap if you wanna start off using that. It does not heat or cool, and the Nespresso one does heat and cool. So again, I do re recommend that one for these coffees. It just really makes a difference, to be honest. I wouldn't just say that if it wasn't true. So let's get started with the details of the coffee. I'm gonna do hot first. Now I'm using this cute, little Christmas mug. Isn't that adorable? I got it from Anthro. I can also try to find that and put it in the bio if you want to buy it because it's so cute. So the very first thing I do, it is very important that you do this before you pour the hot coffee in the cup, okay? So first you want to take honey. You're going to put however much honey that you want in there. It really is depending on how many ounces I want it to be, but I usually do a spoonful of honey. You can also take away or add whatever you want. I do cinnamon and this vanilla powder that we used to use. I used to work at Clean Juice, and we used to use this in our smoothies and clean juice. It's just a very clean vanilla powder. So I use some organic cinnamon. Pour that right over the honey, just like that. Same thing with the vanilla. I usually just do however much you want, it doesn't matter just like that. And then, this is also a very important part, you want to, I have this little mini spoon because I think it makes it more fun. Coffee is very, very important to me. I just have to make that clear. And the way that you do it is important. So after I have both of those things in there with the honey, you wanna mix the powder into the honey until it is all mixed in very thoroughly. I leave the spoon in there just so that whatever honey is left on that can just melt so you don't lose any of the honey particles. Now just go ahead and pour whichever coffee that you want in there and it will dissolve the honey. This is another important part for me. This is the Chobani Oat Plain Extra Creamy Oat Milk, obviously. This is the best oat milk that I have had for coffee. It is so creamy, it is thick, and it's my favorite one that I've ever tried. I've tried over a dozen, and this is definitely my favorite. This is what I get every single time, have to have it. Like I said, the Nespresso Frother has a hot option and a cold option, so obviously for the hot, I'm going to use the hot frothing option. The reason why there's only a little bit of coffee in here is because Nespresso has a double shot option. So this is just two shots. But you wanna Start pour them together. And just make sure to mix so that all the honey and cinnamon and vanilla get all in there for your first sip. That's it for the hot coffee. Pretty simple and it looks so good. Also, not even sure if I really need to say this, but just so you know, none of this is sponsored. This is how I've always made my coffee. None of these companies are trying to promote me to say anything. Just thought I should make that clear. Now that we have our hot coffee ready, here is for our iced coffee, which is my personal favorite and the one I get asked about the most. So you want to go ahead and fill your cup up with the ice and you're gonna do exactly what you did for the hot cup of coffee in a separate cup. So you're gonna put your honey and whichever cinnamon or vanilla or both that you want in it. Make sure it is mixed up and I'll show you exactly how to make sure that everything goes in properly. 
You're gonna place your cup just like you normally would under the Nespresso or coffee pot or whatever. Keep the cup of honey right beside it and go ahead and start to brew. But the trick here is first you wanna get some hot coffee in here to dissolve the honey before you let the rest brew in this cup, just like this. Okay, that was kind of a rough camera angle, but you saw what I did there. So there's a little bit of hot coffee in here that dissolved the honey. So now you are going to take the honey in here and pour it into the iced coffee and just mix it up. Just like I did the hot frothing for the hot coffee, I'm obviously gonna do cold for the cold coffee. And just pour it on top. It's always so pretty. Look at that. So my suggestion for the cold coffee is if you don't have an espresso where you can just do it over ice, I would make your coffee the night before, put it in the fridge, either cover it with foil or whatever. And then in the morning, just go ahead and pour that over ice. If you're gonna do it like that, go ahead and make it exactly like this and just put a foil over it. That's my suggestion. I hope that answered all of your questions. I would be happy to answer any of your questions in the comments. I'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of 2020. So if you have not subscribed, please do that now. It would be so helpful. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys very soon with a, another video.